Welcome back. Now, have you ever laughed so hard that you felt like you were about to pee? Weird, right? There are some situations that are very personal. Very, very personal. And you probably wonder how you can get rid of this problem by keeping it to yourself. Maybe a physiotherapist might be able to help. On Health, we're looking at this really interesting topic and uh, physiotherapy and incontinence might be the issue you need to hear about. Dr. Remy Lekon Durujaye is here with us. Now, she has over 33 years of clinical uh, experience and she's the clinical director for Special Olympics and Fitness Nigeria. It's great to have you back Thank in the you. studio. Thank you. Nice to be back. Good All morning. Right. So the way I, I started this conversation is... is Funny, uh, in quote, because I did mention if you laugh and then you just pee a little, it does feel very personal. This is something you don't tell anybody. You do not discuss it with anyone. But maybe a physiotherapist might be the person that you need to have the conversation with. Definitely. Um, a lot of times patients are very embarrassed mm. about it um, and they never discuss it. Mm. And for women who've had kids, a lot of times if they do bring it up with their physician, mm. they get told, oh, you've had a baby. It's mm. normal. Well, mm. no, it's not normal. It might be common, mm. but it's not normal. Okay. And there are things that can be done, exercises, different um, tools that we have with okay. physiotherapy that okay. can help with incontinence. Okay, so I, I know that there are a lot of different charities, organizations that have to do with, you know, the female anatomy and all that, and they do talk about certain diseases and conditions. Um, are, could they be related to those conditions? Yes. I mean, incontinence can be caused by a variety of reasons. Mm. Um, and you can be, it's not just if, after you've had a child. Okay. You, I've, I've treated single young ladies mm. who've never had kids who mm. have incontinence. Mm. Sometimes a lot of anything that can go wrong within the pelvis. Okay. And one thing I try and educate my patients is, the pelvis is full of muscles. Okay. And that's what controls your bowel, your bladder. Mm. In case of women, your uterus. Mm -hmm. And in case of men, like mm. they're prostrate. Okay. So there, there's so many things that can go wrong. It's a muscle. So mm. just like you'll have a muscle dysfunction okay. in your shoulder, in your back, mm. the same thing can happen in the pelvis. Okay. So for example, injury. Mm. Somebody who rides a bike, mm. uh, cycling, yeah. I've seen... And, and he was a male, actually, mm -hmm. but had issues with his pelvic floor because he rode so many miles mm. a day. Okay. So there's so many things that can actually affect mm. the pelvic floor, aside okay. from childbirth, which is a huge part of it. Of course, of course. Now, um, you did mention a lot of muscles, but then there are a lot of organs around there as well. Physiotherapy isn't usually... Um, when, when you think about physiotherapy, you don't think about internal organs. You think about stretches and exercise and movement. So what exactly can someone do, maybe at home, if they're going through something maybe minor, uh, they've noticed it one or two times, what can they do to make sure it doesn't get worse? Um, well, you see a physiotherapist. Okay. But if, because basically you want to find out what the cause is. Okay. Because sometimes your muscles can be very tight and it can cause, a tight muscle can still be weak hmm. and cause incontinence. Sounds like a bit of an So oxymoron. even if you're, you're very fit, you can still have those issues? Yes. Yeah, so somebody who has extremely tight muscles, mm. those muscles never relax. So when you go to sit down to actually pee, mm. the muscles don't relax or allow you to. Mm. Or sometimes you lose the ability to contract the muscle. Mm. So when you cough or sneeze, yeah. we have slow muscles that keep us continent whilst we move around during mm. the day. Mm. But you also have what we call fast twitch muscles that when you cough or sneeze, yeah. they in instantly and shut up. up. Exactly. Okay. So if, you, if those muscles are constantly tight, mm. then you lose that. For a muscle to be contract very well, mm. it has to relax very well. So mm. if that muscle is not relaxed at all, then you're yeah. going to have those issues. So how can physiotherapy help with this situation? Okay, there's many things that we can do, okay. aside from the exercise. Okay. You can also do manual therapy. Okay. But with pelvic floor rehabilitation, which mm. is what a lot of people call it women's health. Mm. But then, you know, that's, you deal with a lot of pre and postpartum after you've had a baby, before okay. you've had a baby. 
but there are a lot of issues and dysfunctions in the pelvic floor okay. that can occur. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, you can teach somebody an exercise. Mm -hmm. You were saying like if somebody is coughing or yeah, sneezing, or sneezing yes. um, basically squeezing the pelvic floor mm -hmm. is the, the act of, say you want to pass gas and yeah. you're in the public place and you don't want to do it. Yeah. That act of holding it in, oh, that's wow. your pelvic floor. Okay. And when you're doing your pelvic floor contraction, mm. your stomach shouldn't move. Wow. Your buttocks shouldn't move. So none of those or your leg, people would be squeezing like this and think they're doing pelvic floor. No, you're doing your thighs. Wow. So, <laughs> so when people cross their legs like that, they're actually not doing that. They're, they're using the mechanics okay. to keep it in, okay. not the muscle. So the actual muscle you're working on now is like, um, so I, I, I'm, the word that comes to mind is your Kegels. That's, yes. That's the that's word? That's typically what everybody knows. That's yes. what everybody knows. Yes. So uh, for women who are pregnant or even postpartum, uh, they're told to do Kegels, Kegels to yes. tighten uh, that whole area. Yeah. But I'm thinking about the fact that I'm talking to a physiotherapist about this. Isn't there some other physical motion I can do at home that Well, there are a lot help. of exercises you can do in conjunction. Okay. Or to help with your, to strengthen your pelvic floor. Okay. A lot of people actually don't even realize their muscles down there. Hmm. True. <laughs> I've True. seen a lot of patients that, really? Yes. Mm -hmm. And you, you know they're there when they don't work. Hmm. So, you know, you can do what we call accessory type of muscles, like you were saying, when you want to pee, you yeah. will hold your legs. Yeah. So you can do a lot of other, you can use other muscles to yeah. help strengthen okay. the pelvic floor, but you really need to, what we do as pelvic floor therapists, yeah. you want to get the patient to be able to isolate that muscle. Okay. You need to feel it. You need to know when it's working or not working mm. for you to be able to efficiently Strengthen. So now let's let's go to the darkest part of this. If, for instance, you are going through this now and you do not see a physiotherapist and you do not get it under control, how bad could this get? Um, it'll get worse, mm. typically. Mm. Um, and you go from the sneezing to the coughing yeah. to it just happening. When you want to go, by the time you get to the bathroom, it's... So is there, there's, there's, is there a period of time frame we're talking about? Over Not years, really. Over it, months? It, it depends on each person. Mm. You know, you, you find sometimes people say when you get older, it's, it's normal. Oh, wow. So getting old and incontinence is not normal okay. either. It, it happens a lot. Sometimes mm. because somebody is too old mm. to get to the toilet. They okay. can't get there in time. Mm. So it's more of a physical thing, thing. than a muscular okay. issue. Okay. Um, but yeah, okay. so sometimes mm. you want to... Just avoid it getting, getting to that point. I have to say a big thank you to you, doctor, for coming to talk to us. You probably have a few more questions, a yeah. few secret <laughs> things you would like to add to this. Uh, well, hopefully, once you see this post, you can comment under there and we can try and answer your questions. We appreciate you. Use our hashtag WakeUpNigeria on TVC. Thanks, doc. Thank you. All right. So we will be heading to the kitchen at this point. What are we making?